like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. The ancient Hebrew sages believed that not only God created the heavens and the earth, but that the word of God was the very template with which he did it. This sounds like simply a colorful exaggeration. However, I would submit there is evidence of this for those with a heart to look. I'm only a student of those who have come before me. I would like to thank Dr. Chuck Missler and Rabbi Eli Rips. All glory to God alone. In my last video, we uncovered a ratio encoded in the Hebrew text, which corrected the rounding error in the text of Kings for the value of pi. Of course, pi is the mathematical constant in geometry which represents the ratio of any circle's circumference to its diameter goes without saying that pi is an essential constant in any task of engineering or design. Mathematician John Napier, who lived from 1550 to 1617, was a Christian and an activist for the Reformation and Protestant affairs in Scotland. He also happens to be the inventor of logarithms, natural or Napierian logarithms. The number E forms the base of natural or Napierian logarithms. This limiting value is approximately 2.7182. It appears in the exponential function e to the x. It's the only function having a rate of growth equal to its size. In the language of calculus, the only function having a derivative equal to itself. It therefore is a fundamental function for equations describing growth and many other processes of change. Examples being wave mechanics, electrical theory, and distribution of prime numbers. This mathematical background in place, let us now examine the two most famous verses in the Bible dealing with God as creator and designer. Genesis 1.1 and John 1.1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. To review yesterday's video, it's common knowledge that the Hebrew alphabet is alpha numeric. Now, if we examine the text of Genesis 1-1 in the original Hebrew in the manner of a Hebrew sage, we discover something rather amazing. The number of letters times the product of the letters divided by the number of words times the product of the words you get 3.1416 times 10 to the 17th, the value of pi to four decimal places. Very interesting in light of the rabbinical tradition that God uses the scriptures as the very template for creation. Yet this alone could be a coincidence. Let us now turn to the tour de force verse concerning creation in the New Testament and see what it reveals. John 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now the New Testament Greek shares the same alphanumeric quality of the Hebrew. This time, if you take the numerical value of the Greek letters and the numerical value of the words, apply them to the exact same formula we used in Genesis, the number of letters times the product of the letters, divided by the number of words times the product of the words. This time our equation yields 2.7183 times 10 to the 65th power, which happens to be the value of E, the natural log base. Very interesting. Taken alone, either might be written off a of statistical coincidence, but when viewed together, Especially considering that both verses are united in theme, Genesis referring to the creation and John referring to the creation in the beginning, 
the Old Testament and the New Testament version describing the same event. We have pi and the base of natural law. Add the fact that the exact same formula is employed on both verses to reveal two of the most fundamental mathematical constants used in engineering and design. And it begs one to consider the supernatural design of the Bible and that maybe the rabbinical tradition has more to it than a colorful exaggeration. Perhaps God really did use the word as the template to create the entire universe. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. But the darkness has not not understood it. Not understood it. Not understood it. Not understood it. Not understood it.